You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. One of the most dramatic ways in which biblical storytellers add zest to their telling is through direct speech, where they quote the words that characters use to talk to each other. This is often done really skillfully. For example, there are a couple of places in the Bible at least where what we get seems almost incomprehensible, a kind of babble. We've looked at one of them. That's in the story of Saul and the asses, where he meets the girls. There's another example in Jonah, in chapter 1, when our hero, if Jonah is the hero of the book, is fast asleep in the hold, while the ship is threatening to break up, and the sailors are going frantic, throwing all the cargo overboard, and finally they come to Jonah to ask him please to join in the praying each to their own gods that they might all be saved here's how it goes verse 8 then they said to him tell us on whose account this evil has come upon us what's your occupation where do you come from what's your country and of what people are you you see the questions don't make sense there's too many of them and they repeat themselves well, clearly what's going on here is all these sailors are talking over each other. So, our question as interpreters is to ask ourselves, why? What's going on? There's another lovely example of biblical direct speech in the book of Ruth. Well, it's not just one example, actually. It's all through the book. Let's take Boaz as our character. Have you ever noticed how Boaz talks in this book? Ruth, chapter 2, verse 11. But Boaz answered her, All that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband has been fully told me, and how you left your father and mother and your native land, and have come to a people that you did not know before. The Lord recompense you for what you have done, and a full reward be given you by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. How does Boaz speak? Do you notice anything interesting or strange about the way his words are recorded? Different from some of the other speakers in the book of Ruth, for example? Or look at his earlier speech to Ruth, beginning in verse 8. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean another field, or leave this one, but keep close to my maidens. Let your eyes be upon the field that they are reaping, and go after them. Have I not charged the young men not to molest you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels, and drink what the young men have drawn." You see what's going on? Boy's speech is slightly formal, and somewhat repetitive. What does that suggest to you? To me it suggests that Boaz is a generation older than Ruth. Just the thought that he's a close relative and a senior close relative of Elimelech, the father of Ruth's dead husband, suggests that. But in case we miss that clue, maybe the author of Ruth is drawing us another clue in the way Boaz speaks. But it isn't only Boaz who speaks in such an interesting way in the book of Ruth. Notice how Ruth speaks herself, and compare it with Boaz's speech, and then look at Naomi. Biblical storytellers took great care, as they repeated and eventually wrote, the speeches of the characters whose actions they're describing. It repays us to listen with equal care. Have fun as you examine the direct speech in biblical narratives. I'm going to follow up a related topic from Ruth chapter 2 in the next podcast in this series. But for now, God bless.